Okay, so we have uh, one more here with the sine, and we have a negative sine in front of it. For the amplitude, there's no number there in front. So if there's no number there, you can always imagine that as being a negative one in front. So I have amplitude of negative one is gonna be positive one. So that takes care of that one. Your period is gonna be two pi divided by the number in front of the x. So two pi over one third, that's gonna give you six pi. So six pi would be our new period. It got the fraction again, it stretches your period out, so it actually is longer than a, the normal one. Your phase shift is gonna be the opposite sign of this C value, so we're gonna do positive x over four, dividing that by one third. When you flip this, you're gonna get three pi over four. So three pi over four, that's gonna be your uh, phase shift. It's positive, which means that the graph gets actually moved to the right. I need to find out what my quarter points are so I can figure out my other key points. So QP quarter point is your period, which is six pi, and we're gonna divide that by four. Now, this can be reduced, but I don't wanna reduce that because I noticed that it already ha I already have the same denominator as my phase shift. So when you see that happening, you don't have to reduce that one. It'll make it easier uh, to add and get all your key points. So because of that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that all the way across here. So I'm gonna start by drawing the graph. So right here, this is gonna be three pi over four. That's my phase shift. I wanna find out the rest of these points. Now again, we can find them by just simply adding the quarter point. So if I start with three pi over four, I'm gonna add six pi over four to it to get the next one. That's gonna give me nine pi over four. If I add another six pi over four to this, nine plus six is 15, 15 pi over four. Add another six, 21 pi over four. Add another six, 27 pi over four. So that finishes all my key points. All I'm doing is I'm adding the quarter point to my phase shift to get this one, and I just keep adding the quarter point all the way across to get the rest of the key points. So I have all these here. The uh, amplitude is, is a one, and so I have one negative one on, on my graph here. And my sine graph has to start on the x-axis. I'm not starting it here at zero because the graph got shifted to the right. The graph has to begin here at three pi over four. If I have a positive sine graph, the graph will begin by going up. However, this one has a negative sign in front. So if you have a negative sign in front of the sign, you're actually gonna start by going down. So we're gonna go down to here. Then it's gonna go back up to the x-axis. It's gonna go back up to one, and then back down to the x-axis again. The graph itself is going to look something like this. That would be considered uh, one cycle. Again, we had to go down first because of the negative sign in front.